What's up guys? We're doing another unboxing. Today we're doing Del Toro's Pinocchio from the Criterion Collection. This is the regular Blu-ray because I don't usually do 4K. Um, although I could now because I have, I just got a PS5, but uh, I don't have a 4K TV, so it doesn't really make a difference. Uh, so I could have gotten the 4K, but uh, I don't really see a point at the moment unless the transfer is like significantly different, but it's not because this uses the same transfer as the 4K, it's just on Blu-ray disc, so yeah. Here it is, it's on a, in a regular uh, Scanavo case. I guess uh, Criterion has finally decided what they're gonna do with their strategy when it comes to 4K versus Blu-ray. Because it seemed for a while they were kind of experimenting because with like Uncut Gems and Citizen Kane, uh, both the Blu-ray and the 4K for those came in a digipack. But now it seems like going forward it's going to be the 4Ks come in a digipack while the regular Blu-rays come in a Scanava case. Which, you know, it's fine. Uh, the digipacks are cool, but these uh, Scanava cases are also nice. So here it is. Uh, I do like this artwork. I guess one thing that kind of bugs me is just I just don't like the big border. I kind of get why, because, you know, they probably wanted the Criterion logo to be visible. But, uh, I don't know. I feel like it would have been better if this was stretched out a little bit more. But there it is. Of course, we have Del Toro's signature there, along with uh, Mark Gustafsson. Is that how you pronounce it? I actually met Del Toro once, uh, years ago, at uh, Anime Jungle. And I uh, got a really shitty selfie with it, even though I could have asked a friend to take a photo for me, but I was too nervous. There's the spine. There's the back. As you can see, 4K master, so it's the same transfer as the 4K. Let's open this up here. Get this. Mm -hmm. Try to save the sticker. All right, let's open it up. So there's the disc. Let me check it to make sure there's no scratches on it. There's a few smudges, but I don't really see any, because I have had Criterions that came scratched. Um, so you always gotta, there's, some little scratches, but I don't think those are going to be issues. I'll, I'll check that when I get around to it. And we have a really thick booklet that's giving me trouble. There you go. Just the back. Oh, look at him. There he is. <laughs> That's really good. Got Ewan McGregor there. This was a really great movie. I know some people weren't uh, crazy about it, but I personally really enjoyed it. I love Del Toro. Del Toro. He's like probably my favorite director of all time. I can find a spot where I can put the sticker. Uh, well, actually, the the back is just plain. Uh, it's like a dark blue color, so I can probably just put it there. So let's do that. Get that sticker off. And I'll just put it right here. All right, there you go. And I did actually bring out the other Del Toro Criterions. Uh, just to show you how that looks. Let's put the camera. together. The 
that's pretty cool. So there you go. There is Pinocchio by Del Toro. I'm sure once um, his Frankenstein movie comes out, that'll also probably get a Criterion release. And uh, we are supposed to be getting uh, his Nightmare Alley on Criterion. Uh, someone asked him at a panel about the black and white version of that getting a physical release, and he, he said it's going to be on a Criterion, so that is supposedly coming as well. But yeah, there you go. Thanks for watching.